Hey everybody, it's a walker. So what are we doing today? Well, we're going car camping. In this case, truck camping. No winter maintenance, all right? That means go there during winter time. You're done. You're just done. You know the downside of this road though is? What's that? There's only one car at a time. Yeah. Well, yeah. what? So here's the um, pro to, to um, truck camping. There's another truck here, I don't know who owns it. I mean, look at that pile of stuff. That's outrageous, if you think about it. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Man. Of course, it's all tied in there with rope. To make sure it doesn't fly out. Let's take a look at what we got here. It's not bad. It's our campsite. It's not bad. Hey, look at this wood here. This is nice. This is really nice wood. There's a lot of bears here, so we're gonna have to make sure we um, put the food, like put it back in the truck, zip up, you know what I mean? Not make a mess. Look at that. Look, that's all we need is just stuff. I think they see this, see this, I think they cut trees down here, a bunch of trees. Oh yeah. And they mulch it. Free nice fire, fire, nice fire pit. Nice fire pit. Oh, look how big our spot is too. It's all the way up to, our spot's all the way up to there. See that cabin thing there? Man, that's a big spot. Look at this. Let's take a look. This is a lot of stuff though. Let's see what we got. The wood looks great. This stuff is nice. And Dried out and light, it's gonna burn like uh, it's probably you know what it probably is? What? Um this looks like uh naturalized Norway spruce. Um we're gonna need some So we're setting up the uh, US Marine Corps tent. Here's something, this is a tarp I got, uh, just a regular tarp. When you're setting up a tent though, for your ground cloth, you don't want the ground cloth to extend beyond the coverage of the rain fly. Because what will happen is, is that water will go down, hit the ground cloth, and then be drawn under the tent. So this ground cloth is the perfect size. Once we get the rain fly up, I'll show you. Here's the tent, and for the most part, we've managed to keep the um, rain fly over. The ground cloth. Ground cloth under the tent. And this sucker um, I ain't going anywhere. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see what we got here. Let me see what we got here. Oh actually let's see if they can look here. Oh man, that looks like oh that looks nice. Look at that. That's the black helicopters that follow us around. Hear that? They're always following me. Take a look, that's nice. You got that nice uh, down mat there. Oh, look at that pillow. Oh. I like that pillow. That's a, good, that's a good pillow. And you got this. This is good down to 32. I wouldn't recommend 32, but we're good for this today. No. There we go. There we are. That looks comfy. All pitched up. And there's the... What's the idea of the lost shoulder? You... Oh, good thing you'd ask. The, uh, this right here, the snake skin, yeah. it used to be to pack it down. The snake skin would go across and compress the whole hammock. But then when I put this under quilt here, it couldn't compress it. But now what the snakeskin does, when rain comes down, 
it doesn't run down this rope into the um, right, you know also the, these here the tightening bolts right there these two little loops I could tighten it just by pulling on this so you have these two metal um, loops here that goes by friction so it keeps the rain out from running down the ropes and also the loops allow me to tighten the hammock up I usually throw another hitch here like that when I set it up to sleep so it doesn't slip, add one more hitch, kind of like this here. And do a couple of those, just an extra security on that. But generally I've never had them slip on me. Nothing worse than having, well there's a lot of worse things like a bare pinata beating on it, but having water run down the ropes is a pain in the ass because and it doesn't stop unless you put you can put a drip lines or have those snake skins on it here we have um, a dirt bike down the um, you know the dirt bikes they work the river they go down the railroad tracks and they go down along that river that's good there it is um, El Forto Grand Reserve yeah these are not bad they're not bad they're not great but they're not bad and of course you have got a little bit of um, right there I should start carrying, um, cut my hand on something. You always cut your hand on something. I should start you carrying. Know what you do you have in your survival kit? A cigar? No, that's a mistake. Uh, no, no. Uh, Mercure comb and band-aids. I got, I got, um, because I got the, the antibacterial stuff and band-aids. I don't know about here in Connecticut, but in Florida, you get a cut. You got to treat that right First away. First thing you do is treat it. No kidding. Because yeah. I've, I've violated that rule. Every time I it's violate infected. that rule, I get infected. It's so hot. It's so hot and... I don't know about Connecticut. I mean, you might get away with it, in Connecticut. But not. As a kid, I don't. I don't ever remember running to the mature home and. You know, right. Oh, this is nice. It is nice. We might see the dirt bikers. We're lucky. Oh, well, they go on like see they go up the railroad tracks. They may pop down two towns down on these tracks. Always like these uh, sparkiness. You know, some author once wrote the, see those little fire things that go up? Uh, life is like one of these little fire things. It goes crazy for a while and then it burns out. Yeah. Similarly. Uh, he's probably dead now? Who wrote that? Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. All right, we'll start on that. Well, the steaks we're going to cook, um, get ready to cook the steaks. We'll cook the steaks using the... Um, Propane okay. and that. Well, the light's good though. Oh, you, know, yeah. it's, you know, it's something about having like a light in a camp and then a fire going. Oh yeah. Makes it like civilized. There we are. So that's good. If it was gonna rain, I'd put a tarp up, but it's not gonna rain. It's not gonna rain. I don't have to bother. Clear night. Clear night. All right, so we'll start on um, another advantage of car camping or truck camping. We got watermelon, we got steaks. So we're good. All right. That's a hell of a nice fire. Some more wood? I'll go by the wood. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, come on. Oh, really? Yeah. There we are. It'll get, it'll get going. It'll get going. That fire is so hot. That's a good fire. Good fire. I don't care where you're from, that's a good fire. Yeah, how did it? It's just absorbing. Like just sucking oil. it. Give me some more fuel. I mean, even on the fringes. It's so 
Look at that thing. Look at that thing. You just can't absorb. Wow. That's good. That's a good, um... Yeah, it's getting around. I think it's going to get in the 50, so that'll take the chill out. Okay, so cap specialty. Yield mushrooms. With the Mora knife. That's an amazing fire challenge. Amazing. A little butter. Oh, I don't want to throw it on top of there. All right. That is a nice, um, that is nice. Look at that. Wonderful. Oh, wow. What else you got in there? Just butter? Oh, we got, I got butter in there now. We'll get the steak in there um, after. Take a look at It's a wonderful Alberta. I'll let that go for a bit. Right here, here's the... Uh... Whoa, look at the size of those guys. That's what I said. We'll eat it. Well, you know, it is what it is. Can't be. That's the ultimate first world problem. The steaks are too big. You know, there we are. Nothing. Well, I'm not complaining. How about the silverware? We have silverware. We have silverware. The things you don't want to do. Walk by, hit that. Yeah, that would be disastrous. Yeah, that would be a train wreck. <laughs> so there it goes. I like to. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to man this like 24/7 here. I would do that. I would man that. You take care of the rest. That looks really good. I gotta tell you. Yeah. That steak with mushrooms on propane cooker. Right How's the salad look? The avocados and all. Oh, that is good. Sure. There we go. Salad's really good. Oh, yeah. All right, let me see how this steak came out. It'll work. See? Oh, yeah. That's not a problem. Cut it. Oh, perfect. Cut it, no problem. Mm-hmm. Right as good. Mm-hmm. All right. Got tons of mushrooms too. Mm -hmm. Good. See how nice holes in your hand? Kind of like take one of those old flake tools. Good. Excellent. Let's finish this. Good. Mm -hmm. The pan frying worked pretty quick too. Oh yeah. Yeah, Bear would like this, I'm sure. Oh, Bear would be into it so hard. Hey, alright. I wonder if it's uh, occupied. I don't think so. Alright, I guess this is good. Whoa! That's nice. We won't let that get us down though. Okay, we're all done. I mean, we had a uh, toilet paper right there. A little, um, all right, can't complain about that. The spider has taken off. Um, you know, so I can't complain about that. I've seen a date here of 822nd 17, so that wasn't that long ago. So they serviced it. So I'm going to put this as a, um, all in all, 
a pretty pros a positive um, privy experience. There we are. I mean, I got, um, you know, I, I can't complain too much about that. Isn't snow, but ash from the fire. Huh. Far enough away, there's no pinholes, but. Sparky wood, that's for sure. This is gonna be a good night. Got the bear spray right there. Got the down sleeping bag. It's off 40, but it won't be below 55 tonight, so good sleep with weather. Alright. Time to go to sleep. A little rain last night. Wasn't so bad. Ugh. We're gonna get a move on it. So di long distance between these two trees. This sagged a bit last night. Well, not too bad. All right, so we uh, campsite's broken down. Left it um, just like we found it. The truck is all packed up. So it's just your typical um, quick little overnight truck camp. You got ropes and everything so it doesn't disappear. And that's about it. So no big deal, just a fast truck camping overnighter. If you liked what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and y'all have a great day.